Is Bitcoin going to break the music business? It may not be a question you've thought to ask, but maybe you should. What's up, guys? It's Tom. Welcome back to the lab and welcome back to my life. Today, I want to talk about three distinct areas that Bitcoin and more broadly blockchain technology in general could fundamentally alter the way we make distribute, and ultimately earn money from music. Now, before we dig into it, every Friday on YouTube, we go live at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time for an hour. Every single Friday, we talk about music marketing, business, branding, and whatever else you guys want to jam on. You can ask me questions directly, or you can engage with the community who shows up to these live streams. Everyone's super cool, super fun, and super helpful. Everybody's nice, and everybody is working toward building a better career as an independent artist. So if you've got questions, or if that just sounds like the kind of community you would love to be a part of, I hope you'll join us this Friday at 1 p.m. All right, so Bitcoin is a very hot topic right now. And I personally have spent a lot of time thinking about Bitcoin and more broadly blockchain technology in general and how it might apply to me as a musician, us as musicians in the next five to 10 years. And I want to talk about three different areas that I think the music industry could fundamentally change because of the advent of blockchain technology. Number one is distribution. Right now, music distribution is fragmented and frankly, just confusing. There's a ton of different avenues to upload your song to Spotify or Apple Music, and there's a ton of different places to upload your song to once you've picked a distributor. Amuse, DistroKid, TuneCore, CD Baby, the list goes on and on. And every single one of these platforms has a different way of paying to distribute your music, different things they charge for, different subscription tiers, different things you can do with those tiers, and different places you can push your music out to. Some of them only cover the biggest stores. Some of them cover more stores than you even knew existed. And so when it comes to distribution, it's easy to get lost. This is where blockchain technology can really overhaul the music business. I think that in the future, rather than using localized distribution platforms to upload our music to say Spotify and Apple Music, we might be pushing songs out and albums out as non-fungible tokens or NFTs. And an NFT is just a smart contract that exists on the Ethereum network that allows you to program into it all kinds of different things like ownership share and splits, ISRC codes and ISWC codes, all the different trackable identifiers and revenue generators and proportions and fractions that go into distributing a song and making sure the legalities of putting a song out are covered. All of this can be contained in one seamless non-fungible token that exists as a smart contract on the Ethereum network. So you would upload one file in one place and everything else would take care of itself. Creating and uploading songs as non-fungible tokens also would allow masters to be changed in exchange and, and splits to be changed and adjusted over time with the click of a button. Rather than big, bloated, expensive contracts and legal proceedings to adjust things, you can just decide that you wanna do it on chain and do it easily. The whole record remains public and easily accessible so that everybody knows exactly who owns what percentage of what piece of work. And furthermore, because an NFT is distributed and publicly available, you might not even use an ISRC code or an ISWC code anymore. That kind of technology may just completely go away. So there's less bloat, less overhead, and less complexity to just hitting publish on a song. Number two, revenue and reporting. Right now, the way you get paid for your music is way too complicated and it takes forever. Most stores don't pay out for streams until three months after the fact. And even then, the way that they pay it out is very opaque. There is not a lot of transparency to how we as musicians are compensated for streams, for writing, for royalties, for publishing, all of that. But with blockchain technology, because everything exists on the public ledger, everything could get paid out immediately by stream. You wouldn't even have to wait a set period of time for your compensation to come through. It could come through in real time on a stream by stream basis if you wanted it to. And for those of you with a record deal, 
You might find that because your record deal is built on the blockchain as well, and because it's a smart contract in and of itself, you get paid immediately. So the moment your record label gets paid, you get paid too based on the percentage of ownership that you have in the master recording. This kind of technology could see platforms like ASCAP, BMI, Sound Exchange, Song Trust, and a whole host of other things just fall by the wayside and become dead technology. They may one day be seen as excessive overhead that we got rid of because it was no longer necessary. Because everything exists on the public ledger, you don't need all these different organizations reporting a specific part of your song's distribution or consumption for you. And further to that point, you might see things like sync deals get created and paid on the blockchain as well. If all distribution and consumption takes place on a digital basis, then every time a movie trailer is viewed with your song in it, or every time a film is watched that has your song in the background, that payment and that view is recorded on the ledger and you get paid for it without any delay. Or if somebody uses your music in a YouTube video or reposts your song to Instagram or uses your track on TikTok, all of that gets reported immediately and recorded and stored to the smart contract that is your song and you get paid for it immediately, eliminating all of the excessive reporting and overhead that currently exists. And let's say you still wanna sell physical copies. Well, even that can be connected to the blockchain. There are already companies who are connecting physical distribution across supply chains to blockchain technology. And there are also companies who are attaching physical items to non-fungible tokens so that that NFT is a digital representation of a physical item in the real world. This is already happening. And I think it's just a matter of time before it starts to happen with recorded music. Number three, record deals. I think blockchain technology could fundamentally alter the way record deals are created and paid out. Right now, record deals depend on a fair amount of subjectivity from the person who is offering the deal to the artist. But blockchain technology could remove a lot of that guesswork and create a purely data-driven approach to signing an artist. In fact, there are already companies who are doing this kind of thing, just not on the blockchain yet. Companies like Amuse already use their distribution platform as sort of a farm league to watch how artists develop and see how their streams come in and see how they're growing. And then once that data adds up and makes sense, they get offered a deal through Amuse. So this kind of thing's already happening. But if this happens on the blockchain, all of that other data and reporting and analysis that comes from your PRO or song trust or whatever is readily and instantly available. You, no longer does it have to be just the data that your company reports and records. You don't have to be like Amuse and own the platform and only have access to the data from your platform. All of the data is public. You can access all data for all music that has been distributed in the world and cherry pick and find your artist based on an algorithm maybe that your record label comes up with that satisfies your needs as a label to find the proper artist that fits you. And even record deals themselves can become simple smart contracts that are executed on chain. Rather than the label getting paid and then paying you like I stated before, everybody can get paid immediately. The split is agreed to and the contract is signed. The actual technology itself is what executes payment for it. A record label may sign your deal and you may sign the same deal and y'all enter into a contract together and then they don't have to have an accounting department to pay you. So that overhead is gone, which means they can afford to give you, the artist, hopefully more money. Now, I know I've covered a lot of ground in this video, and I know this is very different from what I normally talk about on my channel. So to answer a lot of your questions, I've left a bunch of links in the description of this video. If you want to learn more about Bitcoin, blockchain technology, Ethereum, smart contracts, non-fungible tokens, all of that stuff, there's links below in the description of this video. Also, if you are into cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and blockchain, and you know a lot about it, and I got something wrong, please let me know in the comments because I would love to learn more and love to improve my thinking on this whole thing. And then lastly, if all of this stuff is foreign to you and you want to hear me specifically talk more about it, if you want to learn more about non-fungible tokens or Bitcoin through the lens of the music business specifically, I would love to do that. Just let me know in the comments what you want to know more about and I'll make some follow-up videos to this video. Before I let you go, if you don't subscribe to the channel, please hit that subscribe button the like button if you felt this video, share it with your friends if you really dig it, and make sure you turn on notifications so that you don't miss any videos in the future. Now at the end here, I've got a couple things that you can check out 
feel free to dig into whatever it is you want to dig into on my channel. And as always, thanks for being here and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.